if we want to prosecute our spiritual life, then there are certain formulas. Certain formulas mean that uh, we should not take more than what we need. We should not take more than what we need. We should not neglect also that uh, the uh, the portion which we actually need, but at the same time we should not accumulate more than what we need. There are six formulas. There are six formulas for spiritual life. In favor and uh, in disfavor. There are six formulas which, if we follow those six formulas, then our spiritual life will be developed gradually. And there are six formulas which we follow, then our spiritual life will be degraded. So both ways there are six formulas. I may present those six formulas. First of all, the favorable six formulas are that Utsahat, Dhajyat, Nishchayat, Tattat Karma Pravartanat, Sato Vitte, Sadhu Sange, Sarabhi Bhakti Prasiddhat. Utsahat, Utsahat means you must be very much enthusiastic that in this life, in this human form of life, I must complete my spiritual consciousness or God consciousness so that in the next life I may not have this material body. That is called Usaha. Usaha means very much enthusiastic. Just like a man is very much enthusiastic that in this life I must accumulate uh, ten million dollars in the bank. And he does what? With great enthusiasm. Similarly, we must have also similar enthusiasm that in this very life, in this very human form of life, I must make my spiritual life perfect so that after leaving this body I may not come again to this material world. That is called utsah, enthusiasm. Utsaha, dhijyat. Dhijya means patience. Patience. There may be so many obstacles in prosecuting our spiritual life, but we should patiently uh, go forward. We shall not be disheartened. Utsaha, dhajya, nishcaya, and with confidence. With confidence that because I am following, just like uh, Bhagavad Gita is a standard book. If not Bhagavad Gita, take Bible or take Quran, whatever you like. Now there are some formulas for prosecuting spiritual life. So one must have confidence that because I am following the standard method, so my spiritual life will really be perfected. We must have this confidence. And that is a fact. So Ussahat, first enthusiasm, second patience, and then third with confidence, nishya, dhajya, usā, dhajya, nishya, tattat karma pravartana. Simply enthusiasm will not do. The formulas which are prescribed there we must follow. We must actually apply in our life. Usā, dhajya, nishya, tattat karma pravartana, sato vritti. And we must be, our vritti, our profession, our occupation must be very pure, must be very pure. Impure activities cannot lead me to spiritual emancipation. You'll find in Bhagavad Gita that the God is described, param brahma param dhamam pavitram paramam bhavan. Pavitram means the purest. God is the purest. So unless we are purest, we cannot approach God. Therefore it is stated the sato vritti, our occupation, our vritti should be very clear, 
pious. Satu bitte and sadhu sange. Last, last word is very important. That all these things can be executed if we make our association with similar persons. Similar persons. Those who are on the path of realizing spiritual perfection, we must make our association with such association. Uh, uh, we must be associated with such society so that we can make our... Uh, this is just like we are holding these classes. Uh, this, this is called satsang. Uh, we are not discussing politics. You are not discussing uh, uh, something um, uh, for sense enjoyment. We are discussing from Bhagavad Gita about the constitution of the soul, about the what what is God, what is our relation with God. This is called satu vritti, satsanga. Satsanga means association with good persons who are engaged, if not sent person, uh, at least engaged a, a certain portion of his life for spiritual realization. So these three, six things are required for making progress in the spiritual life.